conversation should not happen on a first date. Mm. You guys? Talking about Tinder. Let's oh, see. Um, Rape. Rape no, should not no. On a first I mean, date. it depends how that comes it about. It depends who we are. Well, you know what? I don't think you should talk about your exes for too long. Yeah. I don't think you should like, talk we, about your like, exes on a first date. Really at I mean, all. I'll talk about it because I so want to know, like, why, you, like, why you're single is one of my first questions. Like, what happened with you in your last, when was your last relationship? Yeah. So I'll ask about, you know, your ex, but I don't want you to go into detail about, oh, my God, I loved her so much. Uh. I don't care what you were in love with her. <laughs> what about, what do you think, Gus? Um, let's see. I feel like, let's see. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to be talking, you for me, it's about personality. So if someone's a creep or if someone has, like, <laughs> you know, they're smooth or whatever, they have a nice personality and they're cool. I was watching this movie with um, Will Smith the other day, and he was, like, um, the doctor. No, no, oh. he was, like, um, the dating doctor. And he had he was showing how he learned how to have swag or whatever you want to call it from when he was in school to now he's teaching other people how to get dates and stuff. And he was saying just to be chill. And so I've seen, like, a lot of guys when they talk and they are – like talking they might say too much or they might mm-hmm. ask me questions but it's not creepy you know yeah you know what I mean? like the kind of just like you can ask questions but it's just the way you say it you know if you're being a creep like okay so so just calm down you know <laughs> it's how you ask if you're like, so why are you single why this why yeah, yeah it's yeah. like yeah. uh for me i don't really i mean just be as honest as you like from the beginning be yeah. who you are i like like to know who you are right away so whatever you deem appropriate i would want you to talk about it just to know you know that if that's who you are if you want to talk about politics if you want to talk about religion which i think you should talk yeah. about you know because some people are so adamant about the way they want to raise their kids or what or how much their religion means to them so i mean why not talk about that right oh, away one thing oh i know you shouldn't talk about sex the first day bye <laughs> no seriously because it means that okay i'm not really interested in getting to know you i feel like in new york that happens a lot and i feel like it's weird but like you don't I, know the person so why would you even bring that up to you know it's all just, right i'm gonna play devil's advocate because i'm nosy and i want to know like how many what oh no 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 i'm talking about axing I'm oh, to do the, oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. like pushing and being pushing because like that's not you like questioning and saying stuff. It's like okay, like you're a freak, get out of here, like calm down. But see, then it also depends on like where they bring you. You can always tell like where the conversation is gonna go, or what kind of date you're gonna have. If it's and, a date, you know, met someone at a party, or wherever you met them, and it was like okay, can I have your number? Okay, they're usually you go gonna want to take you. You know the person. Home. If it's a friend, mutual friend, you know the person a little more. But I'm talking, I'm talking about like a date, just like a random. That you, met you know what though? I think that's I think that's something that if depending on who you are on a date with and if you felt chemistry you would allow certain things i remember one date i was on the guy said he wanted us to get married and go on vacations and this was the first date i was like where's the nearest exit that is too much my girlfriend sarah always says don't talk about babies on a first date it's a surefire way to turn a guy off and i have the problem because i always want to talk about my niece just you should be able to like tell who's going to be fake or not like on the first, th- those type of questions, you have to watch out for the people who's in it for the long run or are just here just to use you. Yeah. Or, you know, just to be Because I'm bringing up my son first before we even get to the date part. Like, I need you to know, bef- I have a seven year old. This is, what we're, right. this is yeah. where we're at. So if you're not okay with, you know, possibly, potentially, you know, hanging out. Pl- I agree with you. Time. I agree with you. That's just what Sarah told me. <laughs> Her name's Sarah. So, but you know, when, if someone respects you, they're going to. Well, they're not gonna say anything up. dumb on a first date. But. Well, we have to wrap up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah. Enjoy your it's Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday, and let's see who's gonna win the bet next week. So, <laughs> see you guys Sunday. Tom Brady's gonna delete, deflate the ball. <laughs> <laughs>